Hello, Hedgehog Maniacs. Sandiac17 here. Back with more Doki Doki and Brand New Day. A mod for Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, you saw me go through day 10 and everything with the appearance of Robbie Rotten and everything. Like I said, the one that portrayed him is no longer around. You will be missed, Stephen Paul. If I said your name wrong, I'm sorry, but... But anyway... There was a lot of changes to Day 10, though. But I'm just wondering what changes were made for Day 11. Won't know until I go through it. But without further ado... Let's do it to it! I have another dream. Something is wrong. Protect them at all costs. You're the only one who can save them. I wake up to a scream. Natsuki is curled up crying next to me. Is is everything alright? Ah! What were those dreams? And what was that place? Why were they hiding me? I don't want to go back there again! Natsuki is sobbing to herself. I wasn't expecting this. I grab Natsuki and hold her tightly. Don't worry. We're not there anymore. We're never going back. You... you remember too? I'm making sure nothing like that ever happens again. Trust me. Natsuki stops crying after a while. Natsuki! Have you seen Sayori? I... I... I don't know, Sunny X. Oh, crap! I rush and change my outfit quickly. Begin the same room as begin, begin the Na that Natsuki is still in the same room as me. You pervert! Though, I'm sorry. Meet me at Sayori's house. Uh oh. This is not good. No! Don't do this, Sayori! No! I quickly run out of the house into Sayori's house. To my surprise, her door is locked. I knock on the door. There's no answer. Dang it, Sayori! Answer the door! I know you're there! I call her phone and text her. No response. Don't do this, Sayori! I bang on the door. Oh no, I'm not letting this happen! Not again! Hit! Whoa. I put all the force into my leg and foot and kick the door near the lock. I hear a loud crack and the lock is broken. I immediately run inside the house. No one's on the first floor. I grab a knife from the kitchen just in case. I run up the stairs too quickly and nearly fall over. I run to Sayori's room. No! Don't do this! No! Sayori, I'm coming in! I try to open the door, but it's locked. I quickly kick down the door. I quickly kick down the door. Sayori! No! What the hell? Oh. Why would she be- Why would she be doing this? Sayori! Thank God, she's still alive. I got to get her down fast! <laughs> I look at Sayori. Her fingers are covered in blood. So I'm scratching around, around the rope on her neck. It looks like she was struggling and trying to find a way out of it. I quickly run to Sayori. Man, I lift her up slightly and try to loosen the rope. It's too tight. Hold on, Sayori. I'll get you down. I pull out the knife and cut Sayori down from the ceiling. Sayori falls right on top of me. Oof. Are you alright? She starts crying uncontrollably. I loosen the rope on her neck and gently embrace her. It's alright. I'm here for you. I made it this time. I help Sayori get back up. Whoa! Man. 
And like I said, Phantom went all, went all out with this, but this was too extreme. Sayori clings on to me and doesn't want to let go. She's terrified. Sayori, can you tell me what happened? Sammy X, I had this weird dream. Lucky it was in my body, but it wasn't. Like someone was in control of me. I can only see it you, but it wasn't around me. When I finally realized what was happening, it was already too late. I was already happy. Sayori lets go of me. I gently removed the noose completely off her neck. I also wiped the blood off her hands using part of my shirt. There. Oh man. Oh my god. Thank you. Sayori continues. Do you want to hang yourself before? Yeah, about that. Sorry I didn't mention that before. <laughs> well, about that. I kind of knew. I did find a noose in your room a few days ago. You knew all this time? I decided to tell her the truth. Well, yes. But that never stopped me from, ca from not caring about you. No matter what, you're my best friend, and I'll come to your rescue, no matter what. Hey, is everything okay? The door is locked down. <coughs> what the hell happened here? It's okay, Nazi. I'm fine. You don't look fine to me. I'll take care of Sayori. You should head to school and check on the others. Everyone else? My god! Yuri! She's probably the worst affected of us! This is going to turn out bad! I quickly run out of the house into school. I try to call Monica and Yuri. I get no answer from either one. Not even Monica? Something's not right. This isn't good. I made it. I run inside I run inside the school to search for them. This could be the only place. Crap! She's not here! I run wildly to another class. She's not here either! Wait! Why is no one else around? I search from class to class looking for Yui to no avail. There's only one place she could be at now. I quickly run to the literature club. There she is. Oh my god, she's crying. Oh no. Yuri! Phew, I made it. Yuri's face is covered in tears. I approach her, slowly. Yuri, I... Uh, Sunny X, so nice to see you. I wasn't expecting you to get here so early. Yuri! I just, I just want to come here one last time. Before I finally end it all. This is serious. What do you mean, Yuri? I remember, Sidex. Every painful memory from the other world. And this one, too. Who I even was. How everyone was hurt. The pain. It just won't go away. Yuri starts pulling out a knife. Oh, man. But if I end it now. I won't have to hear or see it ever again. Yuri smiles sadly. It's just too much for me to handle. I just wanted to go just wanted to go away, Sandy X. It just hurts me so much. Not again! I won't let it. I charge up to Yuri and grab the knife in her hand. <laughs> Yuri struggles to pull the knife from my grip. My hand bleeds furiously. <laughs> hey, let go! Just let me die! Yuri tries to pull the knife closer to her chest. My grip won't allow it. Hell, this hurts! 
I remember how I failed him. Do you know how bad that makes me feel? Yes. Yes, I do, actually. I failed all of you many times. The pain, that regret, that heartache, I've never forgotten any of it. But I finally learned from it. I strain my grip and tear the knife away from Yuri's hands. I hold Yuri with my other arms to prevent her from getting away. Uh -huh. Blood flows in the air to my clothing onto the onto the floor. No matter what, I'm not letting that happen again. What? What have I done to you? Yuri cries more. Have you realized this isn't your fault? I hold Yuri closer to me. Uh. Everyone did what they could. We got out of that bad place. We're here now. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We're never going back there. The only way is forward now. All you are the world to me. All you are in my heart. The world means nothing to me without any of you. I will not let anything bad happen to any one of you. Yuri starts to calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your head. Dang! I nearly, I nearly forgot about it. Oh man, MC! I dropped the knife. I dropped the knife onto the floor and kick it aside. Well, I'm sorry for making a mess. I clenched my hand into a fist to stop the bleeding. I tried, ex I tried to explain. I try to explain to Yuri about what's been happening. So, what you're saying is what? So, so what you're saying is the world we're living in is really some sort of vi video game? Yeah, pretty much. That's outrageous, even for me. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I'm trying to find a way out for us, though. So have faith in me. All right. I trust you. I trust you, son. Yes. I gently release Yuri. Whoa! See the bow there. Good idea, Natsuki. All right. Let's see if Sonny X is here. Hey, it looks like both of you are. Lucky, I guess. Natsuki wraps a handkerchief she has on her around on my around, on my on have on that she has on her around my hand. Let's get to the nurse's office right away. There's some medical supplies there. I grab Yuri's second knife and wipe it off on the handkerchief. I slide it in my jacket. I'm starting to build my own collection of knives now. Gotta catch them all? Pokemon! Nah, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> but anyway. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Manga walks into the class. Why is everyone so- Oh! It... Oh! What happened to you? Was it me again? I thought I stopped this. Why is this happening again? I just can't handle this anymore. Oh man. I was good this time. I don't want to lose any my friends anymore. Monica falls down on her knees and starts sobbing. Sayori walks to Monica. Oh man. Oh man. I never man. I really feel bad for Monica. Listen, guys. I may have problems with when it comes to Monica and everything, but... She was really trying to help. 
trying to set things right. I've never seen her like this. Anyway. What? Monica, we all remember! You, you do? Oh, I'm so sorry for what I've done to, to all of you. I thought it wasn't your fault. I was a cool person too, remember? I see. Still. The things I've done to you can't be... I forgive you! Uh, I know right now that Sonic... I know right now that Sonic is doing what he can to make things right! And you are too! I... Let's stop fighting one another for once! Wow! Sayori is the sound of reason! You're right. You're right. I'm sorry everyone. Both of the girls stand up. Wow. Just... Wow. All the girls do a little group hug, ignoring me. I, st I start feeling very lightheaded and fall over. Ugh. Ow! The girls help me get to the nurse's office. The nurse still wasn't around, but the girls were able to help bandage me up. I won't be writing any poems for a while. I end up lying down and resting in one of the beds due to being so lightheaded. Wake- Wake up, sleepyhead! I hear a comforting voice. Whoa! I passed out? Look at my watch. Oh crap! Ari slept most slept through most of the day. Sayori helps me up and we walk to the literature club together. Where is everybody? Sayori is humming to herself in a cheerful mood. You're watching me the whole time, Sayori, weren't you? Thank you. I knew you were happy too, Sayus! If the shoe was on the other foot! You mean foot? You're right. <laughs> Sayori can be so cute and silly sometimes. And she's also a cute sim and fun. <laughs> anyway, we arrive at the literature club. I'm here. Is everyone here? Everyone's alright, right? I'm too dang paranoid now. But who's on this? And everyone's alive. Thank God. Maga, we need to talk somewhere safe. I just know the right place for that. I remember as well. <laughs> okay, everyone. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's go to Maga's room. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's my catchphrase. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> you all head out to Maga's room. Well, I guess he's a little upset about that. But anyway, we walk down the halls, the class halls again, this time with everyone. Maga stops me. Here we are. Sorry. Here they are. Welcome back. It's kind of strange having everyone else come in here, son, yes? This room is big, yet small at the same time. Micah! Where are we? Seriously, Micah? What the hell is this place? Wow, it looks so amazing out, out to the window. Yeah, don't worry, little Yuri, or you must likely die. Where to begin? I explained to everyone what I can remember and what, I, and what I found. So far, we came up with a plan. If someone goes really bad, we all meet up back here. Maga's making sure we can all come back to this room on our own, just in case. I still got this real feeling in my head, though. Who is Libertina? The room has an awkward silence. Well, Sayori's expression changed when that when the MC mentioned Libertina. Anyway, it seems like the ghosts don't want to talk about it. 
I've been trying to figure out what that means. But anyway. Eh, just forget it for now. Let's just head back to class and have some fun, okay? We leave Manga's room and head back to the Locher Club. Well, we're all back in the club room. Wait. Hang on. A few moments later. I thought there was something else there, but sorry. But anyway. Everyone's still silent we, since we left Marco's room. So... Would anybody... Want some wine? Wait, what? Whoa! Hello! You has got her bag. Anyway. Yuri pulls out a bottle of wine out of her bag and slams it onto one of the desks. What? Hot day! Awesome! I didn't know you were such a rebel, Yuri! What, what the hell, Yuri? No! Just no! We're at school! Not to mention we're too young, Yuri! Also... Not a moment to yourself. We know if I follow all the white and white classes. What did you say? Uh, nothing, nothing. I think Sayori's broken. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Besides, no one wants to try it anyway, Yuri. I do. Oh, shush, child. I'm not a child! I'm the same age as you! Hey, I want to try too. <laughs> but that was a new dialogue from Nazi there. <laughs> well, I'm for president, and my words are final. Whoa, hello. Yuri's... There was a change for Yuri there. Manga grabs the bottle and hands it to me. Wait, is she holding the bottle? Nope. She's not. Here's how it is. Please close the lids in the hallway before we get into trouble. Take it quick. Fine, fine. I quickly leave the class with the wine bottle in hand. Hmm? Wait a minute. I quickly placed... Sorry. I quickly placed the bottle in my bag, which I still have on me. This might come in handy later. <laughs> I smell shenanigans. <laughs> but anyway, I head back to the club. Well, Sayori stopped screaming. That's a good thing, at least. It looks like the girls are all scattered and left to their own devices. I should do something with them. I head to I head to Sayori first. Hey, Sayori. I remember you wanted to show me a poem before. That's right! I wrote something special for you and I wanted, this, I wanted you to read it! Here it is! Sayori hands me a poem. Oh, it's that poem again! Seriously? I'm not gonna read it because I don't like... I don't like this. Um, Sayori? What is this? I show Sayori the Pope. Oops! That's an old one! Wait, what happened to a ribbon? What happened to the thing around her neck? Anyway. Oops! That's an old one! <laughs> she, she grabs the Pope from me and tears it apart. Oh, there it is again. Sorry, Sanyx! This is the poem I wanted to give you! Sayori hands me another poem. Right in front of me. Every day was filled with bottles. One by one, they would break on the floor. I would always try to fill them with sunshine. But in reality, I was yearning for more. My friends gave me love all around me. But that I couldn't see. Blinded by the depression in my heart. That's just how I would be. Until one day, he came along and never gave up on me. He accepted me for all my flaws, and never let me be. I don't need bottles, or shelves, or doors. That what, that's what I finally see. All I finally want right now, it's you, right in front of me. Wow, this is very touching, Sayori. Thank you. I give Sayori a big hug. I don't care. 
she's such a cute little servant bud. <laughs> anyway, Sayori pushes me away. Okay, okay, calm down. I'll behave. <laughs> Good boy. Sayori passed the head. And Sayori passed my head. Wolf. Dang, she got me. We continue discussing more on poetry in school. We had a blast. Sayori headed off to talk to Manga about something. I think I'll go by Natsuki next. Hey, Natsuki! <clears throat> she sound asleep again. She sound asleep again. I gently poke a cheek. Huh? What? Wake up, sleepyhead. You would think you'd get enough sleep at my place now. Sheesh. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. Anyway. Sorry, Sayax. The sun is so nice around here. I couldn't help but fall asleep. Well, lucky I found you before Sayori, or you wouldn't hear the last of it. I place back the last volume of Heart Fate Goes and grab the next one. Ah, uh, she's doing that cross thing again. Anyway, I sit down on the floor. Natsuki scooches close to me. I'm happy. I'm happy that Natsuki is safe. She hopefully won't have to deal with her bad dad ever again. I open the book. Natsuki once again inches closer to me. I can feel her more ever more so. It feels nice and comforting. <clears throat> I can feel her peering over my shoulder. My I could continue reading. Now, where were we? Are we reaching the final battle against Lord Cake Boss? <laughs> I still can't go over that to be honest. Anyway. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Sorry. The evil Lord Cake Boss is creation, the Baker's desert. He finally makes his ultimate creation. The the Baker's desert. Then the evil creation is bent on taking everyone to play with down. Wow, I've got to continue reading this. This book continues on their second year in hi of high school in the middle of their semester. I get, I get, sorry, I get. I get ever so more engrossed in this story. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway. But when Lord Cake Boss doesn't know this, they're, go they're going to betray him. So. Remind me again why people don't like this. This is really fun to read, actually. I know, right? They really should make an anime about this. Seriously? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It won't hurt, but anyway. Yeah. We, read for, we read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you still sure you aren't bored of just watching me read? Well... I'm happy for it too as well. That's good to know. I continue reading more with Natsuki. I flip the page. Hey, don't give me that look, Natsuki. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. Hard. <laughs> I totally forgot about this part. This is the final scene of the battle against the biggest desert. Lord King was just pissed that his own creations betrayed him. So he decides to take one final trip to Flavor Town and destroy his creations. Other than that, serious sworn enemy is the part bank rules. They never see Cake Boss again! They never see Cake Boss again! He presumed dead! He's presumed dead! But I knew otherwise! What do you mean? Some people say he retired from building instead does a TV show about dino drivers and dives! I'm getting too far ahead in the story! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's right. This is a, this is a show. <laughs> anyway. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. I enjoy seeing her vibrant smile. We continue reading until they reach the end of the book. Hey, what's that in the background? Wait, is that the... Was that the cake bar they got over there? I don't know. Anyway. That was one of the most amazing things I've ever read. Dad, saw the X. You're, you're amazed at this. Natsuki gives me a poem. 
you are to me. Tomorrow is brighter with you around. My days were dark and dim. I was really treated like a person at home. Just some time on someone's whim. When I would fight back, I would scream and shout, but never had the help. Nothing ever came out until I gained your trust. Then there you came for me. There you stood, my knight covered in red. A little coincidental with that one, like I said before. But anyway, if it wasn't for you, I would have surely been dead. Now I can stand tall and proud for who you would do for me. I believe you with all my heart, so please be good. Don't tear, don't tear it apart. You have my trust. Your smile is all I see. You're the only one who lets me be. Be me. Sorry. I write this poem from my heart to you. My feelings are hard to express and few. So what I'm saying is, only you, only you, only you. Dummy. Had to get that in, right? I know I said this in day 11. But, in the old day 11, but anyway. You're smiling again, aren't you? <laughs> anyway. That was lovely, Natsuki. Thank you. I give Natsuki a big hug. Uh, dude, that's a bad idea. Hey! Hey, you big dummy! Sorry for everyone! And there was the punch. <laughs> Natsuki punches me. Ouch! Okay, okay! Sorry! I end up letting go of Natsuki. I'll be back. Natsuki runs out of the club room. All the emergency? Oh well. I'll go see if Yuri is free. Wait, where's that supposed to go? I don't know. Anyway. I look around and find Yuri reading at one of the desks. Hey, Yuri! Hi, son, yes. Can you help me again? With the bandages? Yuri shyly shakes her head up and down. Uh, I'm okay with doing it here. I told the girls. If you're okay with it then, and have everything, I'll be sure to be careful. Yuri pulls out some bandages and medical supplies from her bag and places it on the desk for me. Can you up your sleeves again? Alright. Yuri rolls up her sleeves. I know it's bad. It's alright, Yuri. See? Your wounds are starting to heal. In time, the scars will possibly go away. Let me take care of you. I carefully clean Yuri's arms with some rubbing alcohol and place the antiseptic on her wounds. I wrap the bandages tightly around Yuri's arm around Yuri's arms. She lets out a, lo a, lo a light moan. Is everything alright, Yuri? Eh? I'm fine, I'm fine. Please just continue. I continue placing some medical tape on the bandages, holding them firm yet gently at the same time. Yuri rolls up her sleeves. Thank you. Anyway, Sanyx, I want to give this to you. Yuri hands me a poem. Ghost Under the Light, Part 3. The tendrils of my hair illuminate in the amber glow. I bathe in its warm light. Strange. No longer do I see the sickening blue green, blue, blue green light in front of me. The love figure is instead with me, holding me, not letting me go. He's not giving up, not even on me. My heart pounds even stronger than before, but not in pain. What is this strange sensation? Is it love? Time is finally moving forward. The warmth he has given me is nothing I have ever felt before. My body tries to reject it at, at first, but my heart, my heart accepts it fully. You cannot measure this feeling with logic. Only with thirst and, oh, sorry, only with trust and faith. I believe in you, and you, you gave me life. I am a ghost no more. My life is amber. Wow, this is this this is amazing. Thank you, Yuri. I hug Yuri gently. Mm. Eh? 
she's not saying anything but fighting back. I didn't let go. She must really like hugs. <laughs> By the way, Sonyx, can we continue reading the rest of the manga you gave me? I couldn't stop myself from reading it. All I have left is the last volume. Sure, let's read it together. Yay. Yuri gets the final volume and places it next to me. Actually, before we do, do you mind if I make some tea first? No, not at all. I actually feel quite parched. Thank you. Let me get started then. If there's one thing I can make my make my reading time here any better, it's a nice sweet cup of tea. <laughs> She's got her arms behind her and doing that facial expression. Not to mention having you as well. Yuri rushes off to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf with a filter inside. Can you hold this? Can you hold this for a second? Sure! Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. Again! She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. Again. Okay, now you have the water pitcher back? Don't worry, I've got this. That's okay. It's alright, you stay here. It'll just take me a minute. Okay. Let's see now. I walk down the hall to find the water fountain. I fill up the pitcher with water and head back to the club room. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Sonny X, what tea would you like? Surprise me! Really? If you insist. Yui's smile, Yui smile really glows. Okay, that type of smile still scares me, to be honest. Anyway. Yui sets the temperature on the kettle. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really love doing this properly, don't you? Of course. I'm not going to do it any less for others, especially for you, son, Yex. Yui fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea. The tea really leaves a very strong smell in the air. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little tune to herself. It's great to see you in such a good mood. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try to express myself a little bit more. I don't mind that at all. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. I'm very happy to hear that. You can never be afraid to express your feelings to me, Yuri. You always you always worry about me, Side X. It's very endearing. That's because I really care about you. I want Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Yuri and I then sit at the desk with the teacups at our sides. Yuri takes the left arm and holds and holds down the left side of the volume. Ah. I do say with my right arm on the right side of the manga. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. We're hardly even closer together than before, due to the text of this manga being so small. Yuri's beauty is distracting me more by the second. Yuri's warmth is very relaxing compared to the last time. What is it about being next to a girl and feeling how nice and warm they are? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I take a sip of the tea. It has a, it has a strange taste, but I keep drinking it. Wait. Oh, that's right, it does that to slow down. It's like it. I don't know how to explain this one, but anyway. Are you ready? I was ready before I was born. I was distracted by her posture again. You turn the page? Of course. How silly of me. Ah, she must have seen me. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and now eyes me. Let's continue. Um, how are you liking it so far? So far, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good read. The adventures that Mikado and his friends get into are pretty crazy. 
It's crazy that he looks like the missing sister of Kingdom's princess. The older princess has cross-dressed as her sister undercover to find out where, where her younger sister went missing. Yeah. There was so much comedy in there. I was amazed. It hasn't been boring yet. Thanks for giving these to me, Sonyx. I can't wait to tell me what... I can't wait... I can't wait to tell... I can't wait for you to tell me what you think... When you read the ending. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I turn the page. We continue reading more chapters. Even so, turning each page almost feels like a joyful exchange between two friends. Hey, Yuri! Hmm? How are you feeling now? Better, thanks to you. You saved, my, you saved me again, Sanyex. Yuri, about before. I'm sorry I hit you with the book. It was the only way to stop you at the time. You had a knife in your hands and I had to think quick. I understand, Sanyex. I would have done the same thing. You were able to bring me back from the edge of madness not once, but twice. I am thankful for that. You remained silent for a moment. There was something else I wanted to tell you as well. Really? Something about the books. No way! I never bought them. My memory is a bit fuzzy, but some strange man gave them to me. It's just so hard to remember more. And yes, the story is somehow linked to me. I don't know why, but it is. I just can't talk about it anymore. It hurts too much. Sorry for bringing it up. It's alright. You already helped me enough. Thanks, Yuri. We finished reading the final vol- Yeah, sorry. <coughs> we finished reading the final volume. Wow, what a good ending. Right? Usually they always ruin the ending to these stories. This one actually has the ending done right. Hey, Yuri! Okay, when she does that look, it's still scary. Yes, Sadiex? What kind of tea is this? I don't know, Sadiex. I found it in the, I found it hidden in the canister on one of the shelves in the closet. It looked like tea. So I brew it. You said surprise me. Well, surprise. Well, it is interesting in the very least. Why do I taste colors? Yuri and I finished discuss Yuri and I finished discussing more about the manga and about poetry. I've never seen her so happy. It's like time went by went in slow motion. That's because it did. Okay, it's back to normal again. Let me see if Marga is free. I find Marga writing something on a piece of paper on the desk. I can see she's using the pen I gave her from the set. Hey, hey, Monica! Ah! You saw me, Sonyx! Well, you came just in time! I just finished it too! I made it just for you! Marga hands me a poem she just finished writing. A new end. Your pen in hand. I find I find new strength. Courage is endowed upon me by my one and only true love. Together, let us find our way out of this un crumbling world. World, sorry, and write a new way into a world we can be together. With with a flick of their pens, the lost find a way. With our imagination, let's make this our brand new day. After all, what's stopping us from having a happy ending? Aw, how sweet! Thank you, Monica! I give Monica a big hug. <laughs> I don't mind, but the other girls are going to get really jealous. Oops. I stopped and gently released Monica. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How'd you feel about- how'd you all feel about today? She still has that bow. That was great! Well, I had a lot of fun. It was good. Mail yeah, good. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, I had a great time. I hope this doesn't end. Other than getting my hand cut really bad and almost everyone dying. 
Today was a good day. I love spending time with everyone. Great! In that case, let's do the same thing tomorrow. Actually, we can't because school is closed through to another Thursday. If that's the case, do you girls want to come by my place and do a movie night tonight? Sure! 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 Wow, that answer was too quick. I mean, like, Sonic quick. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. I'm going to have to stop by my house and go with your thing. I'll meet you at your place, Sonic X. Me too, Sonic X. See you soon. Both Yuri and Marga dash out of the club. That leaves me with Natsuki and Sayori. Ready to head home? Sure, let's go, you two. I carry my school bag and walk home with Sayori and Natsuki. We head back to my house. I'll meet you guys! I'll meet you guys back! I'm going to change! Alright, see you soon. Natsuki and I enter the house. I discreetly place the wine bottle out of my school bag into the fridge. My house, my rules. I just realized something important! The living TV isn't working! How can I do a movie night without it? I don't think I can have all four girls in my bedroom watching TV! That would be weird and downright creepy! Yeah, especially considering after what happened during day five. <laughs> anyway. I wonder if I can fix the TV. I head to the living room. Hmm, there's no power to anything here. I head to the garage. I, I expected a background for the garage, but anyway. I checked the breaker box. Sure enough, the breaker was flipped. I flip it back. I head back to the living room. I use the remote and turn the TV. Yay! Success. Well, with that out of the way, let me change it easier to move clothes. I look into my closet to see what I can wear. What the hell? All my clothes look pretty much the same. Why haven't I noticed this before? The majority of my clothes are a generic looking black or gray color. It's like Batman picked out my clothing. Sure there's nothing wrong with black, but they're all the same outfits. Black it is. Uh, I signed and changed into one of the generic outfits. Which reminds me, I take Yuri's second knife and lock it away in my, inside my desk drawer next to the other one. I'm going to have to watch these later. I can't forget to burn those dang books in the garden too. I think I'll do it tomorrow. I hear the doorbell ring. Ah, the, ah, the doorbell sounded again. I head downstairs. I see that everyone's already inside. Natsuki let the other girls in. Glad to see everyone can make it. What is this? There are several bags of groceries on the table. Whoa! Hello! How many casual outfits do you have, Monica? I gotta say, this one looks good on you. Surprisingly. Anyway. We thought that you said it. Sorry. We thought that you treated us with us yesterday. The least we could do is was treat you for dinner today. Besides, I don't think your hands are any condition to be doing any cooking. So sit down and shut up and relax. Hey Yuri, can you help me cut Sorry. Can you help me cut these vegetables? Sure thing, Natsuki. Yuri pulls out another knife from her bag, washes it and uses it to start cutting vegetables. At least she's watch washing it. I'm not even going to ask. Thank you, everyone. I'm really touched. Natsuki has Sayori work on smaller things since she knows she's not so good at cooking. Watching them brings me a sense of admiration. The girls finish preparing, preparing, cooking dinner. I help my, I help them set the table and place the dinnerware. It smells delicious! Ta-da! They made several dishes. 
minstrel soup, followed by steamed vegetables and pasta. All vegetarian dishes. I don't mind at all. They smell delightful. Let's eat! The girls place the food on the table. Natsuki starts pouring the minstrel into the bowls and, place, and places them onto the table. Oh no. Here we go! <laughs> I know what's coming next. Hey, Monica! Yes, that, yes, that, yes. Since we've been repeating our lives constantly in this world, how old do you think we really are? Oh, I say if I maybe try one try to do perhaps. Why do you act like it? I knew it. Just wondering. I walked to the fridge. Would anybody? I pulled the bottle from the fridge and placed it onto the table. What's up, what? <laughs> oh! Oh, she's bad. I never seen that look from Monica. Take it, Sonny X! I saw you throw it out! <laughs> you got you good, Monica! The rest of the ghosts laugh as well. Just <laughs> get <forget>, Monica. <laughs> but I don't control the underage drinking, though, to be honest. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway. Fine, fine. But we still have the dinner, okay? Sure. That way you can all try it together. I look at the bottle. It shows Moscato as, as the acetate on the label. I place it back in the fridge for now. I sit down and we continue eating. We discuss plans for the weekend. Sorry if I couldn't get my Natsuki voice all that good. This time. <clears throat> I'm sorry for the sudden clears. The, my, anyway. I'll stop show about that. Anyway. We finish eating and head to the living room. I turn the TV again. Yay! The girls sit back and decide start deciding on what to watch. I grab some snacks and soft drinks and bring them to the living room. So what kind of movie are we going to watch? Did you decide? Horror. Horror! Horror! Ah! Horror! Hey, I've got an idea. How about watching a die horror comedy? What's that, Sonyx? You never heard of the genre? Different cultures have different styles of horror. In Thailand, they have a few various styles. Horror comedy is a great combination of scary Yet funny storytelling. I have yet to find anything but the Evil Dead series in America do it that do anything as funny as that. I take the remote and search for the movie Haunting Me. Also known as Hard Tide Tech. Sorry if I could pronounce that one correctly, but anyway. What's the movie about Sign X? It's about four age aging yet yet still outrageous drag queens. We want a boarding house for boys in Providence, Thailand. After helping to cover up the mysterious deaths of two local female teens, the two spirits begin haunting the dormitory, forcing the girls to try all sorts of crazy schemes to get rid of the ghosts. Horror massive hilarity ensues. I'm sick and but curious. Fine, let's watch it then. I use the boat and start the movie. That image never gets... That image is a little scary to be honest. We all sit down and start watching. After watching the movie, I remember we still had the wine to try out. I grab the bottle from the fridge. I take a few glasses and place them on a tray. <laughs> I clumsily open up the wine bottle. The cork hits the ceiling. That must have been what that was. <laughs> anyway. I bring everyone to I bring everything to the living room. I place the tray on the table. I start pouring the wine equally into five glasses. There was still a good amount left over. This is a really large bottle of wine. Oops. I forgot the ice. Uh, I forgot the ice. I'll be right back. I grab a bucket of ice and bring it to the living room. What the heck? S S Sayori? 
I see Sayori next to me chugging the bottle down. What the? Mm, so sweet! So yummy! Stop her! What's she drinking on? Sayori, that's enough drinking for you! I grabbed the bottle from Sayori's hand. Luckily, she didn't drink that much. I guess I can right now! Whee! Sayori runs off somewhere in the house. Well, crap. Monica, did you say which way? Did you see which direction Sayori went? I have no idea, Sonyx! Oh, those eyes look scary. Um, let's go have a look for her. We all split up and look for, and go look for Sayori. She's not here. I walk down the hall. I hear you yelling. I found her. I run to one of the bedrooms. Oh, they got that updated. You're the bestest friend ever. There, there. Just lay down and relax. I got this on yes. I'll see you back downstairs soon. Thanks, Yuri. By the way, Yuri. Yes, Sonny X? Everyone's welcome to stay by tonight. There are a few rooms then my parents are at home. So if you need to, there is a place for you to sleep. Don't worry, Sonny X. You already planned that. We? Huh. Uh, okay then. Huh, how come I never noticed that? How come I never noticed that on the mirror? Wait, what's the mirror in the old day 11? Anyway, I leave the room and head back downstairs. Oh no. I find Natsuki and Manga drinking what's left all over the wine bottle. It looks like they finished their previous classes. Did you save anything for me? Nope. It was too tasty to pass up, Sayuri. Oh darn. Well, at least Yuri found Sayuri. They're both upstairs. I tell Manga about staying over tonight. Don't worry, I don't have any parents. Can I just live with you and sleep in your bed like that does? does? What? what Whoa, whoa, whoa! The night ends up being complete chaos. Fun, but chaos nonetheless. The girls decide to stay up late and have a little sleepover party. I decide to go upstairs and head, for, head to bed. What a week! I hope it just gets easier from here. Tomorrow I need to destroy those books. I have a sinking feeling that if I don't, things are going to get worse. I change into my pajamas and turn off the lights. How much am I willing to get myself hurt for them? I think to myself. Is it really worth it? I know I've changed, for the better I hope. I feel though, now at least, that somehow, I feel more like me, instead of being a former shell of myself. Hopefully they all realize how, re, sorry, hopefully they real, they all, <coughs> sorry again. Hopefully they all realize how much I truly care for all of them. Well anyways, good night. Huh? Wait, there's more? I thought that was it. Huh? Whoa! Hello! Whoa. Wait, I think I remember seeing this. Wait, Sayu's got another set of pajamas? Man, how many outfits do you have? Man. Uh, what's with Natsuki's face, though? Seems like a cat or something. I don't know. But anyway, we don't we, we don't we let we don't we let you sleep. <laughs> Sorry. We don't we let you we will let you sleep, Sandyx. It's time for sleepover party. No one, no one's going to be left out. That means you. Oh no. <laughs> Knuckles again. <laughs> Huh? 
This includes a brand new day, days 1 through 3 revamped, along with some other goodies. Look forward to the full release when it gets done. If you wish to support me on this, you can do so at www.patreon.com slash phantom. You can reach me at phantom on Twitter as well. Work is still being done on this mod. I need artists. Badly. Don't rush perfection. I'm guessing this ends day 11. I wonder what's going to happen when the full mod gets released. Until next time, SonyX17 is signing out, and I'll see you guys later.